the first person I disclosed my status to was my partner, which was my girlfriend. Then it says I, I went to the clinic. I had an ST, STI from her. So I went to the clinic. Then the sister advised me to have an HIV test. Then later, when I found out that I was positive, the sister asked me to bring her along to test too. So it was difficult for me to ask her to go and have an HIV test. So I had to disclose to her. But she, she reacted very badly. She blamed me for infecting her with this virus. You know. So since from there, I never saw her again. She moved away. We as the uh, young people living with HIV, we must go out and mobilize youth and teach them. They must see in us that we are living positively with this HIV. So there's no scared knowing your status and don't, there's no stigma knowing your status. So we must go out and encourage them to get tested. Most of the people don't want to get tested. Amongst, because like, it's like where I live now with friends, I can hear them when they speak about the virus and then they still stigmatize. And then with stigma, some people are afraid to go to test for HIV, you know. They think if you're HIV, people will, will move away from you, you know, because of the stigma that is still happening. I'm glad that I knew my status because now I, I know how to live a positive life, you know. Because at first I never cared about anything, sleeping around, never using condom. But now I know how to live a, life, a positive life. Uh, and knowing my status has brought changes again in my life. You know. To those people who are in denial, I want to tell them that HIV is there and it's real. So people must start to be responsible. It's very important to use a condom when you have sex, not only to protect yourself from uh, HIV, there's also STIs. Yeah. So it's, it's very important to wear a condom when you're having sex at all times. It should be criminalized. Some people in, do infect other people purposely. Like someone, he knows his status, but he, for, he forces, like forces someone to sleep without using a condom. It's like he, he's he attempting to, to, to murder him. So I think there should be rules that say, condom, always use a condom. Without a condom, no sex. I always had the dreams since I was so young. I still hope to achieve my dreams that I had and to be there when my son, I want to be there for my son until he is grown and become independent and become a man himself. Uh, so I'm hoping to live long. Uh, that's my dream. My name is Daniel Paddy. I live in Katlehong at Ekuruleni in South Africa. I am 27 years old and I was diagnosed HIV positive in 2003 until now. And I'm living openly and proud to be HIV positive. Never judge a book, no 